back to my channel. It is your girl Wahura Kabutha in the building. What's up? What's happening? What's going on? Hope you're doing well. Hey, hope your morning started well. Hope your afternoon is doing, doing well. Now I've started this video, people have decided to work him. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for joining me here today uh, for yet another story time. Thank you for your prayers. In the last video, I asked you guys to pray. All I asked was that you guys pray for my memory that I remember story time. And let me tell you, your prayers have been working. This is one of the story times that um, I would love to share with you because it's a very beautiful story time. And I feel like it shows the kindness and the love in humanity and humanity. A lot of times we see a lot of situations on human beings failing each other, right? But I want to shed light and show you how we actually love and care for each other through this story time. I don't want to say too much. Let me just start the story. Just know that it's a really kind of story time. So let me take you back to a couple of months ago. So what had happened was, so at my work, one of the things that we offer is free classes, like free, eh, man, sisters. It's free workshops, like for example, workshops or Zumba or painting or creative classes or trips or getaways. We offer such services to Africans and Caribbeans in the community because it's an NGO or a non-profit organization, right? One of the sessions that we had was Zumba, right? And during this time, I was doing yoga and Zumba. Because you know here, as I've talked about, I like I like to diversify my workout, right? Like one day I walk, one day I do yoga, one day I'm swimming, one day I'm doing my body weight, one day I'm like that, like that. So on this day, I was like, okay, so I've done yoga and I've done a bit of walking. I could try some Zumba and then also it's free. So why not? Let me just go and have a try. So this day, it was a Tuesday. I remember this day, it was a Tuesday. So it was, it was like at 5.15, I got ready and I headed for the session. It was about like a 15 minute walk. So I go to the session, had a great time dancing, dancing. Hey, hey, woo -wee. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Come on, come on. Break it down now, pick it up. Hey, hey. Exactly, that's what. <laughs> Wow, that's why you guys are on this channel. Kuna kwa my vibes. So after the session, I said, let me go to the supermarket, right? And let me get some of my groceries, right? So, because my consoles were walking distance again, I walk to the, to the store, right? I do my shopping, right? I haven't written my things on my phone, my list, my phone list. I've done my shopping. Because my onions, tomatoes, cheese, fruits, oranges, green tea. You guys are to me to me to And because about hey. Since this was quite heavy, let me take that. Let me take the burst home. Let me hop on the burst and head home. Cool. So, you're going to kind of bus station. When is the next burst coming? Just a few minutes. Wait for the few minutes. Go on the burst. Hey. I say hi to the delivery customer. Hello. Thank you so much for correcting me. Hope your day is doing great. Great stuff. Kafanya, beep with my card. So, I sat behind the driver's seat. It was just one seat. I sat behind the driver's seat. I got comfortable. Then I was on my phone watching TikToks. And there was like a voice that was telling me. Something was telling me. Wawula Kabutha. Yo simu umeshigalia sana. Yo simu umeshigalia na sana. And you're watching too much. You're listening podcasts. You're too much on your phone. It's attached to you. Kairwe my dear Surat. Lila to the horn. But nani mimi. Nkasema. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. I continued with my phone. I continued with my phone. We get to my stop. I press that because on the bus, you press the, uh, the button. You do it. And then now the next stop is where it stops. So I press when it was the second last stop. Then I press after you left the stop. I press stop. So in the next one, he stops. Then the bus driver stops. So we get to my stop. Mind you, my stop, so convenient. Like if the bus stops here, I live here. Just walk across. So the bus stops. I collect my items. I get out of the bus. I go to walk into my building. I tap with my fob and I open the door and I get in the lift and I go up the freight. I go up all the way, all the way up. Cause I live on a really high. I live earth, earth, earth. So I enter my flat and I say, thank you God for keeping my flat well. Cause I like to say that every time when I get home, I'm like, thank you God that everything here is safe. 
thank you that i've come back and my house is safe thank you for my flat even when i'm leaving i'm like i'll see you guys soon take care you will think i'm talking to someone i'm talking to the house i'm like take care guys thank you so much it's been lovely come back and i said hello flat hope you're doing well thank you for Thank you God for keeping my flat safe. I put my groceries on the counter. I start unpacking and I say, let me get my phone. Where's my phone? Where is my phone? I don't remember entering this house with my phone. I don't remember seeing or holding it when I entered into my phone. Because normally my phone's attached to me. I don't, I haven't seen it in a minute. I check my bag. I check my tote bag. Oh yeah, I had a tote bag. I had a tote bag for Zumba. And then I had now the grocery that I collected. And probably some things I'd also put in the tote bag. I'm looking in the tote bag. Name I put everything out. I can't find my phone. I go to my jacket. I check the pockets. I'm like, I where's this phone? I remove everything again. I look. I come out. I open my door. I look on the floor. I'm not finding it. I go to the lift. I look on the floor. I'm like, maybe I dropped it. I'm not finding it. So what do I do? I process. And how do I process? Tears. How else do you expect me to process? What do you mean? So I call my Kamodo at the time. What do we call this Kamodo? We're going to call him Socket. So I call Socket. I call him. I got on my laptop. And then I call him on FaceTime. And I'm like, my phone. I think I left it on the bus. I don't know where my phone is. I can't find it. <laughs> he was like, oh, sorry, babe. Have you tried calling it? Then I said, you tried calling it. Because I can't call it. But you just tried calling it. So he hung up, calls me back, and he's like, okay, good news, it's ringing. I'm like, okay, thank God, so it's not been stolen, thank you, God. And I was just praying that a good Samaritan saw the phone and decided to give the bus driver, and the bus driver is not going to keep it somewhere. I was just like, God, please, Mother Nidia So Christo, please. So I'm getting ready for the evening, and every time I just remember, where's my phone? I can't even put it alone. Where's my phone? <laughs> where's my phone? Oh my god, oh my god. I'm in bed. You think I can sleep? You think I can sleep? I'm just thinking about this phone, just going through my mind, and I'm trying to think, what can I do? Instead of feeling sad, what can I actually do to get this phone back? And I got the idea. I could wait at the bus stop and see if the same bus comes, and then ask the driver if someone has seen my phone. So, I got out of bed, I put on my socks, and I put on a car jacket, because obviously outside it's cold, we are in the UK, we are in Europe, it's not sunny sunny like that, so I put on my car jacket. Then I went to my laptop, and I went on Google, and I looked up when the next bus is coming. I still, I came out with my headscarf, I didn't care how I'm being seen, I got him to and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited. If I'm going to wait for all the buses that pass here for the whole night, no problem i even started pacing up and down up down up. i don't have my phone so i don't have anything to entertain me about from my own break but in my heart of hearts i felt like it wasn't lost as much as it wasn't there there was something that was just making me feel like it's not lost let me be delulu and believe that i'm gonna get this phone back somehow i don't know how but i'm gonna get it back then a bus comes that is the same number of bus that i had taken coming and as it's coming i'm trying to see if i recognize the driver but i don't recognize the driver but i said let me just still ask so i come in and i ask and i'm like hiya have you seen a phone yet because i left my phone i wanted to know whether the phone is here but this guy was so rude I don't know, maybe it was the end of his shift, his style, or I don't know who annoyed him. But his energy was just yuck. Even before I finished my sentence, he said, no, no. If we have a phone, have you tried calling customer service? If we have a phone, we'll probably send it to the customer service or customer care for the bus. You can call them and figure that out. But he's like, no, sorry, we don't have. Then he's almost even pressing. I said, if I release my anger on this man, let me save it. Let me not even meet you at whatever level you're on not today not today so as he was talking and repeating himself i was just like i left and i did this because i was like i whatever when he left i said okay fine let me go let me go back home let me let me sleep let me try and sleep and tomorrow the next day we can call customer service and then we can see what happens so the next day comes and i call my Honey bar, my sweetheart. What are you calling him? Scott Socket. And I call Socket in the morning. And you know that feeling when you wake up the next morning when you've lost your phone and you just, there's like a hole that's left in your heart. So I call Socket and I'm like, hello, baby. Can you please call for us, um, customer service and see whether they phone my phone kindly, sweetheart? Kindly, please. Uh, 
was really throwing my dear honey one and then he calls me back and he tells me that they haven't found a phone but what happens is that when they find a phone like let's say they find the phone um tuesday night then they'll probably get it on thursday so we should try again on thursday i said no problem oh oh yeah oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. on tuesday night i had checked find my iphone but i wasn't it was showing no location so i wasn't able to find the phone so i said let me put it in lost mode and then put a message and in the message i had written hey if you find this phone please call my friend on then i had put sockets number some moments in the morning i'd be like there's no way this phone is gone then he calls me and says try again i'm like oh my god it's gone it's gone then later i'm like no no god please it's not gone then later in the next day i'm like oh my god it's gone like that like that like that so the whole day i said let me just forget about it let me focus on other things and we'll try again tomorrow if on thursday it's not there that's when i'll give up hope but between tuesday and thursday i'm gonna keep hope alive i remember even i messaged one of my really really good friends shout out to her shout out to tiri i told tiri to pray for me because i was like i feel like we need hands beyond the physical so me let me pray and let me have my friends pray for me so i texted her and i was like oh my god like i lost my phone like please could you please pray for me and she was like yeah no problem babe she prayed she was like i'll pray for you i'm sure you'll find it you already have it in jesus name i said hey men at least i have a laptop it looks like i was going to have i'm going to buy another phone sooner than i thought because i've been planning to buy another phone but not yet so i was like okay fine god maybe you want me to buy this other phone now sour message received sour we sleep the next day now is thursday i'm very excited to wake up because i'm very excited to call again so i hollered at my socket and i said hello honey socket could you please call the he said no problem my honey actually i'd already called them and they haven't found it yet but they said that they'll get back to you pause for a second the day before the day before on wednesday what i had done is that i emailed and i said hey customer service this is my phone this is the phone that i'm looking for it's this color and it's this size and i put it left it on this burst so please let me know whether you find it and customer service had replied and they said we haven't found it my dear honey but you can check again with us the next day on thursday so now we are on the next day on thursday exactly he tells me that he had already called them and they haven't found the phone i'm like okay so it's lost for real i remember even after he hung up i just cried nearly i'm a chosen i'm a chosen let me tell you what i was thinking maybe i lost it because i'm too attached to my phone when i wake up in the morning it's the first thing and i was like maybe i'm spending too much time with it and you know god doesn't like it when you're idolizing something maybe i was idolizing my phone and god is like listen honey you need to stop idolizing things my dear sweetheart i'm just trying to figure out why this happened so that i can learn and not make that mistake again how did we get here and then socket messages me and he's like guess what and i'm like what guess what he sends me no he sends me a picture of a suitcase that he's bought out of all the days to play guess what today is when you want to play guess what huh you're saying how i'm here i'm crying i'm hurting i'm going through it and now you want to play guess what on a day when i don't need to be playing guess what with other things our silly nonsensical suitcase anybody give a damn what your suitcase anybody care that's nonsense ah what do you mean don't even look at me don't. send me ten thousand pounds so that i can forgive you i remember wait a minute wait a minute there's somebody who owes me money my father as i'm texting him i'm texting him i get a message from socket guess what socket says they have found it i said wow thank you god thank you jesus thank you so i tell my dad oh they found it i'll get back to you i check my email and they've emailed me and they said oh they found my phone and the socket sent me where i should go collect it i should go collect it from there hq so i'm like okay fine i will try and order an uber luckily i had the phone before that phone so the phone i had left on the bus was an iphone 12 and i had an iphone 7 which was the phone that i had before so that's the phone i was using in the time being so i get on uber and i'm trying to order an uber but the uber is refusing i don't know why the app was just like no we don't want to order for you and uber so i'm like okay i hollered my friend the same friend tiri who had prayed for me and i'm like hey could you please help me order an uber and then i'll send you the money i don't know what's happening with my app please order for me an uber here's a postcode please 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 she's like okay no problem she ordered for me the uber i'm like thank you honey thank you and i head to the bus hq and on the whole way there i'm just like thank you thank you god when i tell you i'm god's favorite you guys think i'm playing i'm not joking i'm god's favorite god loves me the universe loves me ah! 
god you're the best and it doesn't end there it doesn't end there get to the bus hq i walk to the offices i enter the offices and i'm like hi how can we help i left my phone on the bus and i got an email and a message that you guys have found it and you have it oh no problem let me bring it to you and the lady comes back with my phone and she's like such a beautiful dog because i had put my oh my munchkin my dog happy was a screensaver and she looks so happy in that picture i'm gonna put a picture of how happy she looked in that picture because she's so adorable and so cute oh my god and she gives me my phone tell me why when she gives me my phone they had charged it to 100 percent fully charged I just said thank you thank you so much how sweet is that like how cute of a story is that ah moral of the story human beings are mad adorable and mad sweet shout out to all the people who find phones and then get them to their owners like i've even seen videos of people finding phones on the bus or in a restaurant and then making a tiktok and saying hey if this is your phone don't worry i'll get it back to you bless those people may your accounts be filled with more and more money may you be extremely abundant may your whole lineage be blessed <sighs> That's the story time of the Good Samaritan, the Good Samaritans. So apparently what had happened is that someone had found it on the bus and then gave it to the bus driver. Like the fact... Need I say more? That's all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope that you loved and enjoyed this video as much as I loved sharing it with you guys. There are more genuine good people in this world than there are people with malice intention. And that's a message I wanted to spread. It's just that when there's negativity, that one is the loudest. But people don't talk about when people are good and do good things for them. Let me know if I should share another sweet, sweet story time like this again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and i'll see you on the next video as usual if you want to have a more intimate relationship with me you can follow me on my social media platforms at wahura kabutha on tiktok on x on threads on instagram and you definitely you've subscribed you've honestly subscribed thank you you've can you subscribe